So I have a question. Is keto too hard? Is it too restrictive? In this video, we're just going to make it a lot easier for someone new starting on a healthy keto plan. Okay. Number one, let's talk about craving carbohydrates. Now, I don't expect anyone to do this program with cravings. That's impossible. That's torture. Okay. One thing that happens when you start this program is your cravings will go away completely. So that's going to make it really easy to do this. Okay. Plus, realize that you can do substitute foods for just about any of the desserts or junk food that you like. Okay. And I'll put a link down below with a lot of good ideas. So we're going to have to get rid of the cravings to make it easy to do. Okay. Number two, you might be too hungry and that's difficult because you're constantly hungry, your blood sugar issues, whatever. The way to solve that is to add fat to the meals. That's the most satisfying and it's the thing that's going to um, not trigger insulin too much. So nuts, avocado, uh, there's a lot of different things that you can add to the meal. I think uh, nut butters are great. Almond, uh, almond butter. Um, so that would actually make it a lot easier. Number three, you might love starches, okay? Potato, rice, bread, and that makes it really hard to do this program. That's true. But there are certain foods that will act as substitute foods that will greatly help you. And one is our favorite cauliflower. And I know you probably already tried this a million times, but you could turn cauliflower into almost of a mac and cheese, uh, cauliflower into an amazing pizza. I mean, I have some recipes I'll put down below. Um, picture this cooked cauliflower, bacon, cream, and cheese. Okay. If that's not comfort food, I don't know what is. It's actually very, very delicious. So you can do some similar things that are kind of starch like. Uh, number four, you don't like vegetables and this is making it very difficult. Um, now, why don't you start on a gradient and just do a small amount of vegetables? Even if you do pickles or even sauerkraut, it's a start. Something is better than nothing. Okay. If you just can do one small salad, then start with that. Uh, the salad acts as a fiber to feed the microbes. The salad gives you nutrients and minerals. That's why we want uh, a certain amount of vegetables. But again, start with a smaller amount. Number five, plan out your day. Don't go meal to meal. You're going to be thrown off. So for someone recently, I made it really super simple. Uh, I said, just do two meals. And for your lunch, do four eggs, bacon, and nuts. Okay. Just as much as you want till you're satisfied. And then for dinner, do a salad, chicken with nut butter. Just made it super simple. Don't snack. Just do that. And they said, oh, I can do that. That's pretty simple. So you want to plan out the day. So you have a plan. That's kind of like the hidden step before you do a program is understanding like, okay, what you're going to be having to prepare and what environment you have to be in to get the food. Because a lot of times if you're going from meal to meal, it's like um, you're going to be thrown off. Number six, instead of starting with keto, keep your current diet in your meals. Just start with intermittent fasting as a way to enter this, okay, enter into this program. Um, why is this going to help you? Because if you eat less frequent, you'll drop insulin and that is going to make it a lot easier to do this. And it's also going to make you feel better. So start with just intermittent fasting. So just do two meals or even one meal and then eat whatever you want. Okay. As a way to kind of start this program. Uh, seven, get all your junk food out of your house. You don't want to have it there tempting yourself. You don't want it out on the counters. Anything that you shouldn't be eating should not be in the house to make it easier and less tempting. Okay. Number eight, hire a food service to deliver your keto meals. Okay. There's plenty of services around. Find one and uh, have them prepare it for you. I mean, it's a little more expensive, but again, this will make it a little bit easier. Okay. Number nine, start with the most important thing as a starting point, which is cutting out the snacks. Okay. That's the killer. Just by cutting out the snacks, you'll see a huge change with a lot of different health, health things. So we want to um, add more fat to the meal to prevent the need for a snack. So this means no snack between lunch and dinner and no grazing at night. Okay. I think if you can apply any one of these, it'll make it a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. Hey, so if you haven't done so, please press subscribe now. 
That way you can be aware of all the new content that I'm putting out on a regular basis.